Hi, I'm Henry Rakhorst, I'm the treasurer to ICAPLAST. And um, I would like to take this opportunity for the next 30 minutes, it's a long video, to present to you an update of what ICAPLAST has been doing for you. Uh, it's really important that we show this because you are all members of ICAPLAST, you pay dues, so you can expect us to do a lot of things for you. Um, and with this video, we would also like to encourage you to come forward and show you to ICAPLAS so we can collaborate and make things happen. Um, there we go. Um, so, the International Confederation that is ICAPLAS. Um, lessons we've learned from other organizations and, and uh, historic organizations that are um, actually uh, confederations. That means that uh, the members of a confederation is a plastic surgery society has taught us valuable lessons. So we really need to be of benefit to the individual plastic surgeons. This is a bit in contrast to the way it's structured because societies are a member, but we are really into being of benefit to the delegates and the members of the uh, plastic surgery societies all over the world. So the national delegates represent the individual members of their societies. And so it's really important that these people are active. And we would really like to thank you, <clears throat> all the delegates that are a member, uh, our, our delegates in ICAPLAS for the hard work they've been doing um, in obtaining the successes that I'm about to share with you. We also need to uh, be in touch and find the individual uh, emails of the members or emails at least, find the people that are interested in us so we uh, don't evolve into spamming people, but we really find the people that, that uh, find use in ICOPLAS. So, when, when, when the board has an idea, they set up the idea and they email the national delegates and it's their uh, responsibility to forward these emails, such as our a periodical ICOPLAST email, where we have uh, uh, agendas of your meetings and also webinars we're organizing. And these emails should to be sent forward to the individual members. And also these delegates are, have been really successful and would really would be uh, more successful if we do it more, get the individual members in touch with the organization. So national delegates um, sometimes find it hard to forward these emails because it's also a bit like spam. And we also need uh, to encourage them to uh, get the active members in touch with us. Um, the lessons uh, of 2018 is therefore <clears throat> we need to provide information to show ICAPLAS to the individual members. And this is a way of doing this. So we are 47 countries, we're 18,000 plastic surgeons. So we are all over the world and we're the largest uh, plastic surgery organization um, uh, today as a confederation. <clears throat> this is the way it's set up. So members of ICAPLAS are your societies and each society has a number of national delegates in, let's say, the House of Parliament. That's the Council of National Delegates. Um, from this council, uh, selection is made to become a board member and each region around the, the world is, is divided into a number of re uh, regions. And from these regions, depending on how many people are active in your region, you get board members. So North America, Central South America, Europe, Asia all have two uh, board representatives in Oceania, Africa and the Middle East have one. From this board of directors, there's two functions that are uh, uh, three functions actually where people are selected for the treasurer, the secretary and the chair. And the chair is the only person that only has a two year non-renewable -renew term and the others are also uh, up to a maximum of five years. So this way we get a continuous rotation of new people entering and leaving. Today the board members are Takashi uh, Nakatsuka, Kyung Sonko for Asia, Hassan Badran for the Middle East, 
Africa, the position is vacant. Norma Cruz and Julio Kirschbaum represent uh, Central South America. Bert Kruter is Australia, Bob Murphy um, and Howard Clark are North America. Graham Perks and me, I'm Hina, of course, we are uh, proud to represent Europe. From these, uh, in the organization, we, we uh, divided the work into separate committees um, and the committees are plastic surgeons and, and manned by plastic surgeons from all over the world. And they have different portfolios, so regulatory quality, patient safety, education, reputation management, humanitarian activities, and there's an audit committee. And the audit committee is manned by three national delegates uh, that really control the books and the financial household, if you will, of ICA Plus. So, in conclusion, you are ICA Plus, so you are a member of ICA Plus, so you're paid dues to be a member. So you're welcome to share ideas and innovations, and also you're welcome to use ICA Plus to your benefit. So we should be facilitating you, and if you want ICA Plus to be a success, you should facilitate ICA Plus too. So we need individual people to step up and share their contacts and put their shoulders under ICA Plus. So the National Society Society's members are members, but a lot of these members don't know that. We hear a lot from people from all over the world, oh yeah, I still have to be, become a member of ICA Plus when they actually are a member once they are a member of a society that's a part of ICA Plus. So you pay dues and you are a member without knowing this. So there's a number of initiatives we are developing to increase that awareness of the next year. So from the perspective of the individual surgeons and societies, what, what is there to gain from ICA Plus? Well, there are some great uh, initiatives known to the world, uh, getting them known to the world. So if you have a fellowship, if you organize a meeting, if you have innovations you want to share or publication or a society has developed a very successful strategy to deal with certain issues in plastic surgery you need to share this with the world that we are really a way of getting this done also getting plastic surgery known to the world what do we do all day long and also finding new worthy stuff to share with other surgeons all around the world i think that's all really of benefit so we're going to show you some ways of, of doing this and some examples that we developed of, you know, facilitating this. A lot of the stuff we are doing is online because it's really free and it's very international. Nobody really needs to travel. So it saves us a lot of money and we uh, maximize the uh, energy um, uh, that we uh, and, and outcome. So in social media, we share some items such as did you know that or fellowships or meeting from individual members or, or practices and that I'll, I'll show you how how this works so for instance the facebook account we've got all, over 400 followers it's a business page um, all our leaders in the field and they're very active online and everybody's welcome especially the plastic surgeons so the 400 people all basically are plastic surgeons we reach up to 1500 people per week so that's quite a lot and in the uh, right hand side you see a qr code so if you get out your telephone and you use your camera to scan this image uh, a link will pop up and you can press that link and say you uh, you want to like us and i'll show you just that so i'm focusing and here's the link that you and you can follow that link you click it and you become a member uh, or you like us, please do so. I'll have another one of our LinkedIn page. LinkedIn, we have 4,500 old plastic surgeons. It's global in setup. It's called the European uh, group, but it's really uh, for everybody. Only plastic surgeons are accepted and our messages get up to 400 reads and typically a minimum would be about 200. So that's quite a, a traction you get with posting. Now, Facebook gives us a lot of data on what's going on. And here you can see the number of people that are liking us. And we're now at, at 400. And also people find us through various ways. And you see over 20 people typically click. They like our, our postings. And the screens uh, that, that show, <coughs> that, that look at our messages uh, typically go over 600 per week. 
an example of this. Um, Academic Kliniken in Sweden had a micro fellowship. So the challenge for the Swedish is to find the right persons and to really approach their target group. So they um, had a, an advertisement on Facebook and we posted it on LinkedIn and on Facebook. What happened was over 1300 reads online using our social media channels. And the feedback by Dr. Andres uh, Rodriguez was that he got more responses than he would typically get from his own uh, PR activity. So this is an example you see here, 500 views on the Facebook page and 800 views just on one post. We did more, so it's gonna actually be more on LinkedIn. So you get 18 likes and 12 likes. A lot of people uh, work on this and Facebook actually provides you with knowledge that you get 10% of everybody watching is, is, is clicking on the website. You get a lot of traffic your own website so that shows that you should really be actively approaching us and we can facilitate and enhance your PR activity here's more data that Facebook will provide to you see here on the LinkedIn page you get people from the world reading it four people from Sao Paulo um, Brazil uh, seven people there's they're from really all over the place so if you want to benefit follower and email us your news and events and so we can share it we can forward it here are the two qr codes as again use your uh, phone the camera and you can see once you don't click uh, on taking a picture but once you uh, just do that you my screen is broken but you get a pop-up link um, with that you can follow um, traffic on posts on LinkedIn news is up to 4,000 people uh, reading it, local news 700 and international meetings 1,500 people uh, read that, uh, link, those posts. So here's 4,000 reads for uh, a survey results. Surgeons are the most attractive doctors, of course we all know that, but this is typically the, some kind of the numbers you'll get back. 600 people read on a, on a, a local temporary plastic surgery flap dissection co course, um, posting of Paul Drake on, on some instrumental dermatome, uh, three and a half thousand people watch this. Uh, Tommy the, from the ICSM posts a link on his course, 700 people from all over the world. You see 20 people find it interesting. And the Espress meeting in Europe actually got on this particular post, 1,400 reads, and we posted it on many occasions, so there will be more people reading it even. Our new website will be up in December 2018, and this is also aiming to provide uh, uh, stuff to the plastic surgeons and also to become interactive. So we will using a blockchain technology, a very modern way of approving people to become individual members, and the website will become an or a resource for online teaching and video content will be uploaded there. It will contain more or less a, a digital video a textbook for plastic surgery. So the content uh, is collected for the website by teaching really to unite and to be of benefit. So we do these webinars, I'll show you in a minute. Actually, that's what I'm going to show now. So the Icoplus Flash webinars, we call it Flash webinars because we need to be really focused and in two, two hours time, you get all the knowledge you know on a specific topic or subtopic even. So it's free, it's really focused, it's interactive, it's quick, and it combines big names with rising stars. In exchange, you get a certificate of attendance if you provide us with your email address and everything's recorded and it can be uploaded to our website. One of the things that we collect in data is I am okay with you contacting me. So we get an approval for people to uh, be in touch with future webinars. And also we can contact them afterwards with um, uh, uh, details on our website. They can join and they can benefit more from that. The webinar is typically uh, broadcasted. So the presenters are in more or less in a studio and the viewers are uh, seeing these kind of uh, screens. This can be done on an iPad or iPhone or, or a laptop. Here is a slide from Don Lalonde from Canada here. And people can chat with individual uh, follow people that joined or with the whole group. They can raise hands. So you can also ask questions such so as raise hand if you do this and that. 
there's a Q&A function, and this is a, actually surprisingly interactive. Um, on the other hand, in the studio, we got these kind of data. This is a list of everybody joining. This is uh, the, the, the people that actually are presenting. And this is Mark Miro from Rotterdam presenting on the use of antithrombotic agents in perioperative care and head and neck reconstruction. This is the result of a survey we, we did with the audience asking questions such as, uh, do you regularly use drains or, or how do you monitor your flap? And here's a Q&A block where people sent us their questions and we'll discuss them with the presenters in, uh, in due time. And this is a monitor all the, uh, the chatting is going on. Here's the same, the Q&A, the chat function and all the presenters in the screen. The webinar com committee is really international and if you would like to join please be in touch because you're more than welcome and we are uh, looking at uh, future webinars as well we're focusing now on aesthetic head wrist micro reconstructive congenital but also I think doing research effectively or setting up collaborations internationally these are the webinars we've been done done trigger finger breast augmentation bcc scc this was a national thing in the netherlands where we discussed the uh, the guidelines, the evidence-based guideline uh, to make people more aware of it, perioptive care and head and neck reconstruction, and voila for head surgery. So the experience is that we get over 10,000 views of, of the plans that we have and therefore the identity of Icoplast. And it really unites the plastic surgeons all around the world. Um, people approve to have their email addresses collected and they get a certificate of attendance and they also can deny us being in touch with them. So it's really uh, bringing up the, the people that are intrinsically motivated to benefit from Icoplast, if you will. So today, over 600 people have registered and they're from all these places. That, here is a global map. So basically, you'll see your country there, I'm pretty sure. So Matt Gardner did the trigger figure webinar and we got uh, 70 people attending and that will be typically a lot more than when you do this on a local level or whatever level. A room full of 70 people is quite a lot. Secondary breast augmentation, and again, large numbers. Um, uh, perioptive care and head and neck, Bouten Willems uh, did that from the Netherlands, um, uh, a very international uh, group of presenters. A lot of were um, um, subject there to uh, finding out about um, how things are done. So 22 countries actually uh, joined. You'll see again, they're all over the world. Um, the virus hand surgery and the local anesthesia, again, large numbers, 18 countries involved, including countries such as uh, Indonesia, India, or Pakistan. So webinar takes about four hours of preparing time. You can do it from your home, from your department or anywhere, because it's all online. You just need your web laptop and a webcam like I'm doing right now. So contact us and share your journal clubs, your conferences, everything that takes a lot of energy to, to organize. Why would you waste all that energy? Why not have it recorded for your own uh, records and, uh, and also sharing it with the world. It's good PR for your department or for your society. And so you'll get more visitors uh, in your future meetings if, we, uh, if you have an, a, a sample really of the, the things you're organizing. So we uh, assist you in setting it up. We get your videos uh, back to you for your own PR purposes and we put the videos on our website. So the future of what webinars, we're going to develop a quarterly program and we're now planning for the next six months on uh, innovation in 3D in plastic surgery, facelifts, CMC1, post-bariatric, robot surgery, nerve decompression and lower limb reconstruction. Other uses of the webinar technology, we've been supporting other symposia that, that were organized uh, by actually approaching, for instance, here, Matthijs Bokman from Amsterdam University Hospital. He was organized, he's a tropical doctor and a plastic surgeon, and he's one of our skilled plastic surgeons in the Netherlands. He organized a, a, a symposium, a physical symposium on uh, global surgery. So in the end, we, uh, we did a chimeric model where um, the, they um, had the, uh, the symposium and we joined uh, online so 61 people registered and they're really from all over the world, especially from Africa and Indonesia and these type of countries. So I think it's really a benefit that these groups can sit at the screen and, and learn 
it really comes down to the ethics and principles of ICA Plus that we want people to learn and share from us. Also, we're joining uh, the Dutch government in, in organizing a summit on ALCL with all the professional stakeholders at the, at the moment. And uh, this actually accomplished that a lot of people from, for instance, the FDA were able to join this and, and um, in finding answer to these difficult uh, tasks we are facing about safety and, and breast implants. Other broadcasting we support, uh, um, the, the UK, the RSTM Trials Day and the, and the meetings of the RSTM and also the European Trainees Meeting. So if you want to organize anything or you want to share a meeting with the world, use us, because yes, you can. Uh, email us and we'll be sure to follow up with you. Other examples of support, we can arrange these web meetings for your, if you're having a multinational research project and you're looking for easy ways to set up online meetings, be in touch for conferences or for talking with your delegates. Uh, ICA Plus supported European communication. We meet periodically with the European delegates and also the trainees and recordings are shared with the ones that missed the meeting. So it's, you don't have to take notes and these are the trainees here and this is the European delegates. So how can we increase the visibility of ICA Plus? We do that in meetings. Well, there's a really important thing when we founded ICA Plus, we said there are too many meetings. We, we said we want to support meetings and we want to enhance existing meetings and not set up our own meetings. So there is no ICA Plus meeting, but we want to be incorporated in existing radio, regional meetings. So if you like that concept, also invite or, or send us an email to make us aware of your meeting. And we can really certainly consider, we do this twice per year for, uh, we did it twice in 2018 and we're uh, gonna do it next year too. So we did it in Luxor and Seoul, to next year we'll be in Brussels and we're gonna use it more and more for regional meetings. We provide live webinar streams so plastic surgeons from all over the world can watch this symposia we're doing on the ones we did in breast reconstruction and once we did on super micro and craniofacial surgery and in Brussels we'll be on aesthetic surgery. This will so people can benefit from all these lectures. And all is recorded to be edited, uploaded and shared. So how does this work? Well, Mark Clemens did a webinar, uh, actually a presentation, the Luxor meeting on ALCL. And you can see here that 400 people actually uh, were reached and got, got an update on the, the latest in ALCL uh, research and, and data. Also, we did an award of excellence. Uh, so each society can apply for this. There's 500 euros. You can uh, you can apply for it. You can hand it out to your young talents, um, trainees or people just finishing trainees, and they can use this to visit meetings and um, uh, other uh, uh, things. So the only thing is you have to have a selection committee with at least one trainee. So lectures, we um, also have that in the ISPRES ICA Plus Young Plastic Surgeon Award and the visiting professor we did, we did once a year, once last year to Cartagena in Colombia on ear reconstruction and we had a Sushruta professorship in plastic surgery was, was done with, with, which was won by Stefan Hofer from Toronto and uh, he was selected by the Royal College of Surgeons in Edinburgh for this and they provide the funding for him to, to present. We also collaborate with the WHO, the RSTN in the UK, the International Microsurgery School, 10,000 people group for microsurgery, that's mainly on Facebook. Um, and we do it for research and guideline development. So what have the trainees uh, in Europe done, for instance, they have been in touch with us. Um, they wanted to unite and they wanted to use ICA Plus for this purpose. And we said, sure, we can do that. So they wanted to unite, communicate and be online. So they set up a website where they listed all the fellowship and we facilitated using our webinar technology. And in the future, they are, uh, for instance, using our website to have their own website in, embedded in. Documents, uh, the vision document of ICA Plus is published in PRSGO. Uh, Patient Safety Committee provided a report on facts, figures, and practical guidelines in ALCL and the humanitarian 
uh, committee pr produced a document called Best Practices and Standards for Humanitarian Activities, describing what you kind of think about when you fly in or fly out to certain regions. So the future is basically you can make it happen. So plastic surgeons are creative and together we can achieve a lot more. So we are 80,000 plastic surgeons. So basically you are challenged by ICOPLAS. So please approach us and we will facilitate you and all your uh, ideas and, and uh, things that we can do. Uh, please be in touch. And I would really like to thank you for your attention and give you one final opportunity to use your camera and scan these QR codes and like us and, and join us. Um, stay in touch, be in touch, actively approach us because we are here for you. And we would really like you to benefit from all the hard work we put into this organization all together, all the 18,000 plastic surgeons in this world. Thank you very much.